One of the biggest questions right now is how Legend ZA is actually going to look or play. Obviously, we haven't had an official trailer in forever. We have literally only had the first reveal trailer months and months ago, so I'd say anytime soon, we're probably going to get a trailer like within the next couple of months for sure. But basically, I'm going to be talking about some of the things to expect, like things that are going to be in the game, how it's kind of going to play, you know, it's going to be similar to Legends Arceus and also like Scarlet and Violet and stuff. So this is part two of this type of video. So I actually made one a couple of weeks ago, about a month or two ago at this point. If you want to go check it out, go check it out. That's where I kind of talked about more of the basic topics. Like in this video, we're not going to be talking about like the simple stuff such as, you know, like the stuff that we've had revealed in the trailer and stuff. That was kind of more of like a trailer breakdown slash extra things we're probably going to see. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. Leave a like on this video and comment down below something that you're super excited about in Legends ZA. Any support goes a long way, guys, and I appreciate it so much. So I'm going to bring up some things from the so in the leaks, apparently the shiny charm is coming back, which is awesome. So expect to see the shiny charm in the game. And if you don't know what that is, it's essentially when a shiny Pokemon spawns on in your game, it's going to make like a little sparkle noise sound effect. Scarlet and Violet did not have a sound effect. So if you saw a shiny Pokemon, you would just have to visually see it. And Legends Arceus had the shiny charm. So when the shiny Pokemon shows up, it's a lot easier to know if there's a shiny on your screen or not. There is a debate about this. Like some people don't like it and some people do like it. I personally do like it just because it's like, it lessens the chance of you missing a shiny Pokemon. And I feel like it's sometimes you're just playing and you're not actually shiny hunting. And it's just awesome to see, you know, if a shiny spawns in or you hear it. I think that's the, the benefit, but also people that do love to shiny hunt are like, well, it kind of ruins the fun because you really have to be paying attention. Personally, I'm more of like a passive shiny hunter. Like I did a couple shiny hunts in Scarlet and Violet and in Legends Arceus. And you know, I, I like the shiny charm noise personally, but maybe there's going to be a setting to turn it off or on. Probably not, but maybe. So obviously this game takes place in Lumio City. It's going to be a completely different Pokemon game like we've ever seen before, which is weird because we've always had Pokemon games where you're traveling through different routes and you're going in the wilderness and stuff like that. But this game is unlike that. There's, It's literally going to be taking place in a city, which is just a completely different development than we've ever seen. So there are tons of questions like you could talk about this forever. Like I feel like I can make so many videos about this topic right here. And my biggest question is how are we actually going to hunt for Pokemon if it's in a city? So I've mentioned this several times in past videos, but basically in the trailer, there are just several ginormous circles. So I feel like that could either be like ginormous wilderness areas within the city. Take the Blueberry Academy, for example, like that was one ginormous bubble underwater. Pretend it's like that, but in each one of those ginormous circles in Lumio City, if that makes sense. So there could be different biomes, you know, maybe one circle is like a winter or snow biome, one's desert, one's jungle, one's water, you know what I mean? Just different elements for different circles. Those could be ginormous like tunnel entrances to maybe wilderness areas. I'm pretty sure that we're not like, I think the leakers and the hackers, or whatever, said that we're not going to be able to go into like any wilderness area outside of the map. So that's kind of why I think it's going to be within those ginormous circles. It just makes sense to me. I'm sure that they're going to give us that information though in the next trailer. I mean, we know that we have water going through the city because in the trailer there was some like water like ravines, but I don't, and it looked like there actually were Pokemon in there. So I'm going to assume you're going to be able to fish or capture those Pokemon within the city, like in the stream. So that's going to be pretty cool, but that's obviously not the only way we're going to be able to catch Pokemon, you know what I mean? The story is reportedly going to take place either right after the events of X and Y or like within recent relative time before X and Y, if that makes sense. So the game is not going to be taking place in the past. So do not expect this game to be taking place hundreds or thousands of years in the past. My thoughts are it's probably going to be right after X and Y or like maybe 50 years after X and Y. I'm assuming that the city is probably going to be destroyed and I'd expect some real heavy storyline plot reason as to why like the city has to be redeveloped and the reason i'm saying that is because the trailer states that the city is going to be redeveloped obviously i don't know exactly what that's going to be but my theory is probably something with the ultimate weapon maybe something with az we're going to get into that a little later but there's going to be some reason as to why we're redeveloping lumio city i think we're going to get a couple of regional variants but at the same time I don't know exactly how they're going to do that just because Mega Pokemon are coming back. We're getting a couple of new Megas. So far, it's confirmed that we're getting Mega Zygarde and Mega Zero Aura. So 
we're definitely going to get a couple more Megas. I don't expect a lot. Like, I would not expect to get more than 10 brand new Mega Pokemon. And speaking of that, I'm assuming that the starter Pokemon that they're going to give us, if they're not the regular Gen 6 trio, or the regular Gen 6 starter Pokemon, which is debatable. I really am so curious to know what starter Pokemon we're getting. But whatever starter Pokemon we're going to get, I'm assuming they're going to get Megas. that, And I'm assuming they're going to be Pokemon that do not already have a Mega Evolution. So... That's going to be interesting. I feel like that's just one of the biggest questions also is like, what are the starter Pokemon going to be? Because if it's in the Kalos region, this game is in Lumio City, which is in the Kalos region. Like, why wouldn't we just get the Generation 6 starters like as we know them? My thoughts in the past were like, oh yeah, we're for sure going to be getting new starter Pokemon. Or not new starter Pokemon, I mean like different generation starter Pokemon, just like how Legends Arceus, we had starter Pokemon from different generations. So... I'm just so conflicted on that, but I would say 50% expect the regular generation 6 starters, and then the other 50% just expect different starter Pokemon, and if they are different starter Pokemon, they're probably going to be a regional variant of those starters, you know what I mean? Definitely expect some side tasks, different research of Pokemon, like Legends Arceus, you kind of had to research Pokemon, I'm assuming we're probably going to be doing that exact same thing. I would also expect something to do with like the Zygarde cells. I feel like we'd probably get Zygarde cells similar to how Legends Arceus had the Will-O-Wisp. I'd assume that would be in the game just to give us some more things to hunt for, but at the same time it's like if that is in the game, I don't know if that would really have anything to do with the actual story, like maybe that would be a side quest to get like a different evolution of Zygarde or something like that. I, I don't know entirely, but I would expect something like that, or at least something similar to the Will-O-Wisps from Legends Arceus. And also, since it is in an urban development, I'm wondering how, like, regional variants will actually look, because obviously it's a different environment, and Pokemon are going to adapt to that environment, so they probably will look a little different, but at the same time, it's like, we're not in a area of the Pokemon world where it's like we're deep in the jungle, or like, way... 3,000 years in the past, I, I'm i just really curious to know exactly if we're getting regional variants, because last couple years of Pokemon, we've actually had a pretty decent amount of regional variants, so I feel like it would make sense, regional variants are a great way to give us, like, new Pokemon of existing Pokemon, you know what I mean, like, new versions of existing Pokemon, that way the Pokedex doesn't have, like, 5,000 Pokemon, you know what I mean, I'm being a little dramatic on that, but I feel like regional variants are really cool, and I would expect a couple, at least. But since we're getting Mega Pokemon back in this game and new Megas, I I don't entirely know if we're going to get a lot of regional variants. And the last thing I would expect in this game is definitely some sort of storyline with AZ. Obviously, the, the game's name is ZA, so an AZ was obviously like the main plot point within Pokemon X and Y. So there's got to be something with him. I don't know if he's going to be in the game. That would be pretty cool if he's in the game, or maybe we'll have like... Maybe our character will have known him in the past and we'll get like flashbacks of the character we're playing and them being with AZ. I would really love to see some more of AZ though. He was a great character and I really love the way that they wrote him within the X and Y storyline. So definitely something to do with AZ and the ultimate weapon. I mean, the ultimate weapon has got to be in this game. I don't think it was in the trailer, but there's no way that that is not going to be in the game just because that was like the biggest point, like the biggest plot storyline within X and Y. So I would love to see... So with that being said, I'd love to see AZ back in this game. Make sure to leave a like on this video, guys. Comment down below what you expect to be in this game. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for future videos.